okay so this is part one of the pen drawing tutorial series i talked about on this video we are going to learn how to make grid lines for your pen drawing you don't need any app just a paper that have a kind of sharp edge like a very good corners all you need is a hb pencil of course the ruler a 5 or 12 inches ruler and the photo you want to use also yes the paper you are going to be drawing on so i'll try to make this tutorial very easy for you to understand so this side is the inches that is labeled from 1 to 12 while the other side is centimeters from 1 to 30. If you want to make an artwork from big to small or from small to big, you just need to change these measurements. But I'm first going to show you guys how to make the same scale and the same measurements with the reference photo and your drawing. Our artwork is going to be in A4 size. So if you are measuring, just make sure your artwork is in the range of an A4 paper. So this is the picture we are going to be drawing, same scale, same measurements. And I'm using an embossed paper for this art, but you can use any paper of your choice. Just avoid any smooth paper. You can use a cardboard or a canvas, whichever you like, just cut it to an A4 size and follow the tutorial. So first of all, I'll use the ruler to first define my edges. I'm just trying to make a border that, is, that will be close to the reference picture so that I'll get my lines close to the image. I'm doing this because the picture doesn't have any background. If I was to use a picture that have background, I would have printed the picture with a border. This border would have been done inside the printer for me or the computer. But since we don't have any background, I'll just use this ruler to define a space or lines that will help me get my grid lines close to the image. So we are done with that first step. So this corner is where the whole grid line will be coming from. This is their starting point. This right up corner is where I'll start counting my grid line away from. Our measurement is going to be in centimeters. Now we are going to make dots exactly where we see the numbers and make sure the lines match exactly the right top corners. I know there are other ways to make grid lines, but doing it yourself with your hand will give you more control and a better understanding how these grid lines work. There is another way where you can use a tracing paper and kind of a transparent paper. The more higher you go, the more you get the right tool to use it and do it better. But for now, if you're just starting up and you don't have any materials close to you or you don't have anything available, you can just use this method and do it yourself with your hand and you are okay, you get the best results. So notice how I started counting from this top corner down. Now I'm going to start counting from this side to this side. So now I'm done with those parts, I'm going to do the same thing for these other two sides.
so we are done with the first big thing this one is very easy because it's just to make dots like a square around the reference picture so now we are going to start drawing lines the actual lines of the grid so we are going to start with this first dot here this is where it gets tricky just make sure to connect the ruler very straight connecting the top dots and the one below should be in the same line then before you draw to connect both of them that one is self-explaining because looking at what i'm doing you know that is what i'm trying to take note of because these are the mistakes i make when i was doing these grids like the early stage when i started doing grid line so i'm pointing those tips out so that you not make the same mistake so just follow exactly what i'm doing so notice where i start drawing the lines from hopefully this tutorial will be very easy for you to understand so that after watching this video you'll be able to make grid line by yourself with your hand and make art with it so if you are still watching please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the part 2 of this video that is coming out very soon like next saturday be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so i'm just going to continue drawing these lines like this so I'll make the horizontal line following the same method with the vertical one. So my grid is done, now I'll start numbering the rows and columns, starting from this top right corner. So now my grid for the reference picture is done. If you don't understand, you can go back to the video and watch again where you don't understand, see what I did so that you understand better. So now we just need to take the same grid we've made for this picture and then do the same on our paper where we are going to be drawing. It's the same method, the same everything, same scale. Just do exactly what you've done with the reference picture.
so i'm just doing the same thing i did with the reference picture same line same measurement same scale so i'm using these centimeters and i'm placing it at the right top corner that is where we are going to be starting from everything is just the same i'll be teaching everything there is to know about pen drawing on this series so just keep following me every saturday don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be updated anytime i upload any new video so depending on where we stop because i'll be teaching things like the perspective how to shade properly the dark areas and the light areas and the mid tune and how to make skin tone look realistic everything is going to be done in this picture i'm trying to teach here right now to so just keep following the reason why i've been out from youtube for some weeks now is because i'm trying to get a better camera and a better place to you know show my artwork properly so you won't get to know me better that is part of my struggles right now don't forget to subscribe because subscribing and watching my videos liking my videos those will help me to spread the word for my pen drawing better so just keep learning from my videos because i'll be teaching you guys lots of tricks and tips so I hope you understand how to make grid line with this simple video. The next video is basically how to transfer the picture to your paper, just the sketch. So just keep following, like the video and subscribe. Production. Mm -hmm.